This is what troops fighting in Ukraine are having to deal with now. The winter thaw has turned the battlefields to mud. It's what the Russians failed to account for when they invaded this time last year. Now the mud is back and it means getting around is difficult. It does offer some advantages. Obviously, it slows the attack. It means attackers have less options. It's harder to get logistics supplies to the front. And obviously, that's much harder for the attacking side than the defender in general. Um, it's harder to exploit any breakthroughs in the lines you make. Uh, again, because you can't manoeuvre across country very well. But it's not easy for either side. These are difficult conditions for living in trenches. It's hard to keep yourself and your equipment and ammunition clean, and it causes particular difficulties for certain vehicles. General situation with mud means is track vehicles do better than wheels, obviously in general, although there are um, some exceptions with these eight-wheeled, four-wheel drive um, sorts of vehicles that are increasingly coming into service in a number of countries. But tracks obviously are designed to cope explicitly with these sorts of situations. Um, but obviously, the heavier the track vehicle is, the less well it will operate. Um, so lighter vehicles like CBRT, which has been given to Ukraine, um, we saw in the Falklands, actually, the low ground pressure of those vehicles means they can be pretty mobile, even in the worst conditions. And they're very light. They have tracks. Um, the weight is very distributed. So they don't tend to sink in. Obviously, something like a Challenger 2 is going to have to work a lot harder. There's a lot more weight over the tracks. The ground conditions are expected to get worse over the coming weeks, and that's why the majority of the tanks donated to Ukraine, including the Challenger 2s Britain is sending, aren't expected to arrive until the end of March. After that, they'll have the greatest impact. Russia has changed its tactics, but that might not just be down to conditions. It's really because they just don't have the coordination, the leadership, the initiative to manoeuvre um, in the way that they would conceptually want to, in the way that we would understand uh, every junior leader in the British military is thinking about taking the next position, pushing through to the next trench, clearing the enemy position, moving on quickly and exploiting. The Russians have more or less given up on the exploitation. It's all about taking a small piece of ground, resetting, taking the next small piece of ground. The Ukrainian troops have to alter their approach too. For now, it's about holding ground and wearing down the Russians by forcing a high casualty rate. That is likely to be the approach until the ground firms up and advances can be made. Claire Sadler, Forces News.